you're well. I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, this is the third day of a four day long weekend here in the UK. So I'm losing track of time a bit. Anyway, it's nice to have the time off. This video is an update on the current energies. So the first thing I want to talk about is the recent Mercury retrograde. Mercury stopped going backwards yesterday. So now it's moving forwards over old ground. And on the 18th of June, it gets back to the point it was before it retrograded. So from the 18th of June, Mercury is whizzing forwards again through brand new ground. And the same sort of thing's gonna happen in our own lives one way or another. So we're done with all the reviewing and the reflection. We've got all the information and pieces of our current puzzle that we need. So I would use this time up until the 18th of June to come up with your plan of action based on your reflections and realizations over the past seven or eight weeks in particular. And do bear in mind, we've had the eclipses during that time as well, which were really powerful and the energies of that are still resonating. So some things have been thoroughly shaken up and some things will have also been made so obvious to you that you just can't ignore them anymore. Also around this time on the 21st of June, we've got solstice. So that's depending on where you are in the world, the longest or the shortest day. And the symbolism of that is that you've reached the extreme limit or edge of something and then things turn around. So that ties in with the Mercury energies as well. Um, and I know I've just been talking about Mercury, but thinking back over the past two and a half years, there's a sense of what comes next. So we know how the world was before and how we were before and how we were in the world and how it felt. And that's not coming back, but that's not a bad thing. That was the frequency of that has changed. So some people are feeling anxious because they know that they won't be going back to how it was before, but what is next? So I would just say, don't be worried, don't be afraid of change and the new. Um, what's really useful at the moment is to create space in your mind, whether that's through meditation or going for a walk or just some time out on your own. Doesn't need to be lots of time, just a few minutes even, but just it's really important at the moment to create time for your own thoughts and reflections and just creative daydreaming. So create a space for thoughts to arise from your subconscious into your conscious mind. And your mind needs that space to analyze things and process what you've been through and solve problems. And by creating that space, we can start to see what is coming into consciousness and for, you know, what the right direction for us um, is to be revealed to us. Okay, I wanted to share this quote that I've got in the middle of the screen. So the picture on the left is the recent new moon. Um, I took that as a photo. And this quote in the middle, I really like, and I, a friend of mine sent it to me during the week. And I feel like it's very um, relevant for the way things have been. And also the things I've just been talking about, um, about the old and the new. So we're very familiar with the old energetic space and feeling and frequency, but now is the time to just allow yourself to explore new things and ideas and people and places and just work out what resonates for you now, the way you are now. Um, and just know that you are starting a new chapter and that it's positive and exciting and that there's lots of good things coming. So I'm going to read the quote to you. And once the storm is over, you won't remember how you made it through, how you managed to survive. You won't even be sure, in fact, whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain. When you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what this storm's all about. That's from the Japanese author Haruki Murakami. So um, lots to think about there. The other idea I wanted to share is Santosha. 
So this is an idea from yoga. It's the second of the eight limbs of yoga. And it's the idea of contentment or inner peace. So Santosha is when you don't need or desire anything external and you're content and at peace with things and yourself just the way they are. This isn't about being passive all the time and not making anything happen. It's more just a sense of knowing this is how I am now. This is the way things are now. And this is my starting point moving forwards. I also have the image of the third eye. So another message this week is to look with your third eye at the eyebrow center. So this is your intuition, your inner knowing and your higher wisdom. So it's not looking with the heart, which is a more emotional energy. It's still a mental energy. And we are in Gemini season, which is all about thinking and thought processes. So look with the third eye, trust your intuition and um, just have that sense of clarity through looking with your third eye. Okay, the card I pulled for us for this week is the King of Wands. So he's all about assertiveness, strength, self-belief, warmth, heart energy, and leadership. So he's saying to us this week, you show the way. Other people need to see your example, and they'll be more than happy to follow it. Um, but yeah, it's saying take charge of situations where it's you who needs to take the lead. You are the one to do it and um, do it with confidence. And the two crystals I pulled, the first one is clear quartz. That's about clarity of thought. So that's saying that you are thinking very clearly and objectively at the moment. After some cloudy thinking during Mercury retrograde, we've got clarity. So trust in that. And the second crystal is green aventurine. Now that reminds me the color of it, of Neptune, God of the Sea. And we do have the sea reflected in that picture um, in the Murakami quote as well. But what it's saying is, it's a reminder of what I said before. There's a lot of good ahead. What's ahead is better than what came before. So it's reminding us not to be brought down by doom and gloom this week you set your own high frequency and that will lift other people as well. Um, you know, a candle loses none of its light by lighting another candle. So we can be that light. Okay, so strong message there about taking the lead and showing the way and saying and doing things that make a difference and that the time to do that is now. Okay, I'm going to post a few links to some Crowded House songs that I've been listening to this week. There's a lot to reflect on in the lyrics to these songs, so you may like to listen to them. Okay, I'll leave it there. Thank you for listening. I hope there were some helpful messages there for you, and I'll be back again next weekend.